Alright, I'm going to show you how to pull some video clips using Sony Vegas Movie Studio Platinum. First thing you do, you go down here to the bottom left, Start button, and then Computer, and you're going to create a new folder on this F drive on this computer. New folder, and then just put your name, and you can save everything here, and it'll remain on this computer until at least the end of the semester. Now you go to Movie Studio Platinum and open that up and you can go ahead and put your DVD in the DVD player and it's a good idea to get a remote from the front desk it makes it easier to find your clips using a remote control and these tutorials are good but right now we're just going to start using the studio now go to project and save as and we need to tell it to save everything to that F drive and your name and you can give this a title We'll call mine test, and now you're going to go to project and capture video. Say OK, and say OK to that. One thing you need to do right here is go to options. And the, the first time you do this, you have to tell it where to go. Go to disk management, and double click right here. See, it's trying to go to the C drive, and there's just not going to be enough space to save these clips. So you find that F drive again and as you'll see say OK. Now we have a ton of space to save these video files and say OK to that. The next time you pull clips it should go to that F drive when you capture. OK so we need to find a clip to pull um, let's see if we could find something here. We'll go to scene selections and you should probably already have your clip in mind. Um, I'm going to go ahead right now and say capture video right down here in the bottom left. Before I start my clip I'll say enter with the remote control. I like to start capturing before I start the video clip just so I don't miss anything and it's real easy to trim the beginning of the clip and I'll show you how to do that here in a second. It's better to get more and then just trim off the beginning and end than to miss anything when you're capturing. So we're capturing and just let it go till you're done with the clip and now we'll hit the stop button and that's probably fine. Okay, so then you say done to that and you can actually close it and good idea is to go to project and say save so you don't lose anything. Here's your video that you just pulled. You bring that down here to and you say yes to that. This is the the video track. Here's the audio track. You can add text to this. You can add music. You could add, add voiceovers. You can add all sorts of things but today what we're just going to do this. So if you click in here you'll see this play line you can move around within the clip. So we want to start it right, right when he's getting that fish, okay? So you go to the edge of the clip, click on it, and then just drag it over to there. And now this is the new beginning of our clip. You do the same thing. I just click in here and you can move around. And now let's find the end of our clip. Um, that looks pretty good just when that guy turns around. It's kind of scary. Okay, so you go to the edge and drag it back and now that's the end of the clip. Now another way to do that you can always hit undo which is nice but another way to do that say this is where you want to end the clip you can hit the S button and it just splits the clip right there and you can split the clip anywhere you want within here but now I clicked here hit delete and that portion of the clip is gone so now that's the end. The other thing I like to do if you go to here fade. You can fade in a little bit from black and fade out. This makes it look a little nicer. You don't have to do that. It's just something that I tend to do. And you do that to the video and audio tracks. Or if you don't have to, if you don't want to. And then, once again, I'm going to hit, hit save. So we're done editing. If you double click in here, you, you create this loop region. And that's the portion that's going to be rendered into your video file. You can always change how much you 
you save there for your video file but all we want is this section right here to so go to project and you're going to say make movie and there are a lot of different options here but right now we want to save it to my hard drive and let's go to advanced options because there's some things oh first thing we need to do click on render loop region only and advanced object options now let's look at this there are a lot of different video files a lot of different ways you can save it but we want to save it as a windows media video wmv and this is high definition this six and it's not this best definition but it's certainly not the worst and it's good for what you're doing and WMVs are really good for uh, PowerPoint presentations so th now once again we need to tell it where to save it F drive and pick your name and you can make a new folder within there if you want to but we'll just save it to your name my name and you can give it a, a new name if you want I'll call this Hobbit 1 and then you say render and there you go if you have a really long clip it could take a while to render but this shouldn't take long at all and once it's done you can drag this file to your Y drive and access it from anywhere on campus or you can upload it to your Google Drive which I do a lot and it's really handy and you can share that with anyone you like send it to your teacher that sort of thing so it's almost done and what I like to do when it's over or when it finishes rendering is open it and check it out make sure that it looks good before I save it to my Google Drive or drag it to the Y drive or to a flash drive or wherever okay so there it is Hobbit 1 in my F drive folder and let's take a look at it see it faded in from black it's got his fish and we can watch it full screen if we wanted to and the quality is fine and it should fade to black here in just a second and there it goes alright so now you can drag it to the Y drive or upload it to the Google Drive and